Hi, my name is Gabby and for the past few months I have been documenting my journey as an artist with not one, but two non-art related jobs. A fun fact about me is that I have never sold my art and sometimes my friends will ask me, Gabby, why don't you sell your art? And I respond with an excuse. I'm like so busy. My art's just like not really there yet. Or my personal favorite, yeah I will someday. I kind of just decided that life is too short and I just gotta go for it. So join me as I navigate starting an art business from the ground up. As you can see, I made a lovely diagram showing us where we are in the process. And today, we are starting with the arguably most important part of an art business, the art. So the other week I made this. I was so, so excited about it and then I haven't tried making a finished illustration since. And I think this is like a form of art sabotage. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm afraid of. I think I need to push past that resistance. So I started this sketch. It is a girl in the grocery store. I don't really like the colors yet, um, but I like the concept. And I'm really gonna try to focus on taking my time each step of the way when getting this art business all set up. Woo! I'm trying to decide if I like it better like this or like that. Maybe I'll take a break and come back. I'm gonna paint my nails. I usually ruin them, but I'm gonna go for a walk right after this so that I don't ruin them. Cute. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to this podcast. It is very cold and I am in shorts. Oopsies. Mistake. I just got back from my walk. I'm hoping now I have some clarity on the colors. Hi there, I'm popping in with a little podcast moment. I love to do these in videos because I personally like to walk away and not always be paying attention to my YouTube videos, but I still like something happening in my ears, if that makes sense. Also, I love to talk. I'm kind of an introvert, but I could babble for hours to myself and be happy as a clam. So I thought it would be a nice idea to give a little life update right now. I am currently done with my NBA dance job for the time being when my team's NBA season is over. The dance season is over for me as well, which has been super great. I have a lot of goals that I'm hoping to accomplish during this time off, but my art related ones are mostly revolving this shop. This is gonna be a huge thing that I'm working on all summer and I'm really excited about it. I also though want to focus on the quantity of art I am making. Um, so I still want to prioritize the quality obviously, but I do want to just be making art almost every single day, whether it's a sketch or a fully finished illustration. I just wanna focus on quantity so I can explore more. I also am trying to finish this 
book that I am reading called The Artist Way. It has a 12-week program where you are doing a lot of self-discovery and exercises that is supposed to help you unblock your inner artist. So that has been awesome. And then a not so art related goal I have for my summer break is cleaning my apartment. I feel like every time I live somewhere, I naturally accumulate a lot of stuff as time goes on. And I've been in my current apartment for over a year now, and I'm just starting to feel like, wow, I have a lot more stuff right now than I did when I moved in and I would like to clear some of that space out. It'll also have the added benefit of giving me space to actually store art prints and stickers, things like that. And yeah, I just feel like generally I don't like having a lot of stuff. I think that's a pretty common sentiment, but I like knickknacks. I love things on my walls. I'm kind of a maximalist when it comes to my interior decor preferences, but I don't like junk. So yeah, those are all of my goals for this summer. I'm really excited to have more free time and really enjoy the nice weather. I'm going to let Video Gabby take over now. This is what it's looking like. I decided to simplify the color palette a little bit. These feel like very much fruit and vegetable colors to me. I got some cramps and then I laid down and then I got up and I was like, uh uh, I'm too tired. If you didn't know, I love video games and one of my favorite games of all time, Breath of the Wild, the sequel is coming out next month. So I'm trying to replay Breath of the Wild so that I can get excited for that. I'm not gonna be productive tonight and that is okay. And it's normal, it's normal to rest. I am learning, I am learning. Guys, I am in the heat of battle right now. Oh my God, my shield broke. Okay, it's fine. I just need to, to kill you. Oh, I just need to kill you really quick. Oh, okay. That was very dumb. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> wow, oh my god, I'm so good at video games. So peaceful when you're not fighting bokoblins. Sorry, jump scare. I'm going into the office tomorrow, so I need to prepare a lunch. I'm cooking some tofu to earn my name, you know what I mean? <laughs> Certain parts of my brain have to focus on like the task of cooking, um, but it's not so like all consuming that I can't let my Im imagination kind of like run free. I think it's very important to tune into like what things fill us up creatively and what things maybe don't. Do you call them sweet potatoes or yams? I call them sweet potatoes. Are they different? Are yams and sweet potatoes the same thing? I don't even know. Okay. Cute. If you are short like me, do you ever use tongs <laughs> to grab things? Because if not, you're missing out. My dad always says it's all about having the right tool for the job. And most of the time, tongs are all you need, baby. Okay, that was pointless. <laughs>
I am so proud of myself, which is a very rare feeling for me to feel after I've created something. I think I'm gonna call it eat your vegetables. That's what I made her tote bag say. <laughs> I added some texture in in the gradients, which I think is a really nice little touch. I had a lot of fun making this. I feel weird about feeling like I have found a style of illustration that is like super enjoyable to me. Don't know why I feel weird about it, but it feels a little weird or like just unfamiliar, I guess. I might do some, some sketching. We'll see. Maybe I'll lay down and do it. That seems like a bad idea. I might get really tired, but I probably will do it anyways. <laughs> the grind never stops. Just kidding. I'm having fun. <laughs> Dude, I was about to go to bed. I'm so tired. That's what I did. And then I drew this. Person laying in field. And then I drew, I don't know, this is random. She's cool. It's very exciting to think that someday I could make a sticker for my own water bottle. There's not a lot of room, but I'd make room. Making stuff is cool. Okay, I'm tired. I'm kind of trying to get ready quickly so that hopefully I can post the illustration I did on Instagram. I really have been treating Instagram like a portfolio rather than something that I'm trying to like create content for if that makes sense like I, I just wanted to like show what I've worked on and come up with creative ideas to show what I've worked on all social media for me pales in comparison to YouTube I love YouTube <laughs> so much fun fact I think I have started two YouTube channels and two Etsy stores in the past damn these wings are not the same. Okay, I think I'm done. Coffee. I was about to leave. I have to go to my dermatologist appointment. But then my coworker just told me that she's not going into the office today. So maybe I'll bring my work stuff and decide later. Cause they might wanna stay home. I'm back. I'm gonna be working from home now. I would have had to wait 30 minutes for a train. <laughs> if I'm gonna be working from home, I might as well not wear work clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting down and I was like, okay, what do I want to do tonight for working on the shop? I do not have a Notion page set up or like any sort of plan for this art shop. I am going to call this art shop. When I first tried Notion, I actually really did not like it. <laughs> like I didn't get what all the hype was about. Honestly, because I, I watched YouTube videos, they had like really intense Notion layouts. It was a little bit advanced and I tried to like make my notion that intense. I think the first thing I wanna do actually is import some images. Can I do that? Um, we'll drag that. Oh, oh, it's so big. How do I, okay. oh, very small. Okay, 
Wait, I wonder if I can just drag them. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Oh, they already look so cute next to each other. So this will be my little gallery. That's where I'm gonna like put things as I complete them. And that way I can kind of like see the whole picture come to life as I'm going. I'll put items to sell and I'll make a little list of all the things that I am thinking that I wanna have on there. I know I wanna have art prints and stickers. Someone commented today on one of my illustrations was like, oh, I would love to have this as a foam background or wallpaper. That's so cute. That's such a good idea. So I think I want to do that. I feel like it should be pretty easy. So I'm going to make something that's kind of like logistics. And one thing I'm going to put in this section is just say like goal for number of products. I want to figure that out. Eight to ten? Question mark. Next, maybe I should add like a little to do section create sticker designs so this section will be called art <laughs> manufacturing i'm gonna make a whole category for website shipping um i think that's it this is now a very cute little Notion page. I know I'll probably add to it a lot, but it feels good to just have something started. Yay. Okay, I am on Pinterest, and how come nobody has ever told me that ducks in dresses exist? Look at that. Oh my God. I have to draw one immediately. I just found a picture of a snail riding a skateboard. What should what should the words be on this? I could just say see you later boy. That would be funny. Is that funnier than later skater? Mm. Oh, that's a toss up. I don't know. That one's tough. <gasps> what if I give her sunglasses? <laughs> I mean, that's so funny. <laughs> Wait, I really want to make that into a sticker. It's a Saturday. I don't have much planned during the day today. This morning I woke up at like 6 a.m. for no reason. The thought that was like running through my head when I woke up was angel duck devil goose. A duck with a little angel above its head and then a little goose with devil horns. On YouTube, I absolutely love the iPad Pro, but that's just me. So if you want to be using any other app on here or even on your computer, you want to use different software. <gasps> 
Wait, this duck is cute. Is this even a duck? This one seems like a good angelic duck reference. Everyone's all worried about AI art, but I don't think AI can possibly put as much care into duck duck drawings as a human can. Also, it's Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, I draw duck. thinking about how crazy it is that I'm like actually doing this <laughs> but then I realize that it's actually not that crazy of a thing to do to like make stuff and try to sell it like a lot of people do that <laughs> but I just like really had this limiting self-belief that I couldn't like sell my art until I had a certain number of followers or until like I felt like I had been I like nailed my art style. I'm just trying to get over <laughs> those like beliefs that I don't have an art style, that my art isn't special. You know, we all go through that. But your art is very special. It's like the most personal thing that you can make is art. Only you can make your art. Anyways, that was my little speech. I think I actually like this color better. Do I like that? I think I do. Yay. Well, hello there. I hope you liked the video. There was a lot of art making and I actually accidentally like finished my sketchbook in this video, like almost. So that means the next video might be a sketchbook tour. We'll see. If you liked this video, then maybe you will like my last video. It was about burnout recovery, super fun stuff. Thank you so, so much for watching until the end. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I have been having this discussion with my boyfriend lately. We somehow got on the topic of how you symbol the number three. I do it like this. He does it like this, but he also says he's trying to start doing it like this. I just, I thought we were all on the same page, but I guess we're not. So yeah, please let me know. Anyways. <laughs>